so hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome all you students med students whichever one you are welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking this video um for watching my videos and if you haven't watched any of my videos you can go now and watch them and please subscribe subscribe click the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video and like this video if you if you get anything informative from it because it shows that I'm able to help you guys and I'll be doing more of that content so first of all I just want to say that I'm doing okay I'm fine I'm well I'm well it's been quite a long time since I posted and um, and I'm I give God all the glory for everything that has helped me like overcome this past last year and this is a new year and i'm hoping that everything will get better this video we're going to be talking about like how to survive in medical school or in school or in college or in uni in general dark and i apologize and i'm just going to be giving you guys tips for college students how to survive in college um i can decently say that i've had like an experience and i've like i've experienced like life in uni at least for some time so i can come out and say like give you guys tips for all those who are about to enter uni they're about to enter college wherever whichever country you are the, the tips are still the same you still need them and everything so first of all you need to have like a mindset a good mindset going into university i found out that when you already like have in your mind ah i'm going i'm going to school to flex ah, i'm going to go and enjoy myself that i didn't enjoy in high school i didn't enjoy in secondary school obviously that's exactly what you're going to be doing because once you want the world to give it to you so when you already have the mindset that you're going there to like enjoy yourself um you know learn learn how to go to your first party enjoy drink you know something you know now all these flexing things so i don't <laughs> all these flexing things so when you already like have that mindset in your head that yes this is what i'm going to that yes this is what i'm going to do when i get when i get to university obviously that's exactly what you're going to be doing that's it you have to have a mindset like you came here to read you came here to learn yes it's not only book it's not only like your studies that you're going to focus on you're like you have a life you have a like um you didn't your parents didn't just send you there to develop like only your intellectual skills you also went there to like grow yourself you know because from uni you're going straight out into the world you're they are sending you off into the world so that's where you actually gain the skills the right skills you need to survive in the real world so that's just basically it you have to have a good mindset a mindset that like i'm going into school to better my life so yes i'm going to like study and i'm not going to neglect my social life but then i won't let like either of them i won't let my social life encroach on my like studies or my academics and affect me so much that I, that i actually forget the reason why i was there so that's just you have to know why you're like what you're doing there so that's just the first the second tip is that you have to be prepared you know how they say like you don't know what you're going to find fear of the unknown all that all this you can actually avoid that fear by like you know going this the world is so vast and so advanced now that you can actually find whatever you're looking for on the internet so obviously everybody knows that so that i what i'm just saying is just that you know when you before you go into the school you'll be like the school after you have like gotten it and 
you know after all the processes jam positive me that's for nigeria after all the processes jam whatever your it is that you're doing you have gotten your admission so you've you like go on the website and try to find the school and try to read up on the school the history knowing about the school you're going to will help you prepare you to be like okay this school is strict this school is this is the best in this you know to know more about the university to know more about the school so you know like your plans and like how do i put it like you can actually know the rules and regulations of that school before you get into the school because most times they are posted on their website so you go online you search for the university that you're going to you're getting admitted into then you like find out what it is that they do you know have more insight that was the mistake i made when i was entering because i did not like i just entered I didn't actually browse about the school, I didn't research about the school, I just, I've never heard of the school before. So I just got into the school blind. Yeah, quite alright, I survived, but then it, 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 I feel like I would have survived better if, like, everything would have been easier if I actually knew about the school, you know. So, I, and the worst part was that before I even got into the school, when someone asked me, like, oh, you're going to this school, I'll be like, yeah, so then I'll be like, oh, this school is a this. You not be able to know and if you don't know about the school it will be so easy to be influenced by what other people think like there are some people that might have negative views about your school and you come in contact with them and then they will start telling you oh my god that, those, that school is hard that school is this that school is that you know you'll be like so it's true all this kind of stuff and you will not be able to verify the information so when you're getting into the university, you the only thing you'll be thinking about of that school will be like, oh my god, the teachers here are so strict. This school is so this. It has the highest number of crime rates, cultists, oh my god, all this. Like, you'll be terrified for you enter. Because you'll be like, you already have this negative everything about the school. And it's not going to be good going into that school. Because obviously, your mindset is that you don't like it. Because this doesn't have this, doesn't have that. So better for you to know for yourself. So I went so on as to say what they're saying. You receive the one that you can receive. Anyone that you don't want, you don't, you like, you cannot understand whatever, you receive it out. So that's just it because <laughs> I can tell you how many times I heard my school did this and I was like, really? I was like, really? I would just be listening, like, I would just listen, listen, listen. And by the time I, it was not time for me to go to school, I was now so afraid because this, I was like, this school has highest number of crime rates, this school has highest number of this. I was like, uh uh. Because there are some people that just hate, like there are, and the and some and the worst part is that there are some people that actually walk on word of the mouth. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, you know how a rumor has been passed down from this to this to that. Maybe someone was in that school. The person experienced it, and to them it was hard. So they came out and told their friends, "Oh my God, this school is hard. Those kind of stuff. Is if you cannot do this, that uh, again, again, um." Um, the school is this, it's wicked, it has cultists, rapists, whatever it is. You know, and then they will not come out. They will come out, they'll tell their friends. Their friends will like, you know, not make news more like pizzazz, like have more oof. They will add their own everything to the gist and then circulate it. And by the time it gets to you, you're already getting the um the cooked up version like you're getting the version where like the main idea of what the gist is about has been like so fried that the only thing you're getting now is just the false rumor like by the time you enter you don't even know what you're going to find so that's just it that's i feel like you should research about your school before you enter because it's so very important to know about your school where it's located you know everything about the school the history is not boring okay it might be but then it's for it's for your own good anyway so just try to endure endure <laughs> just try to endure and do your thing man because it's your life and you don't you wouldn't want to like waste it um when you now go you, be, you find yourself struggling so that's basically that's basically what my my advice would be to people that are getting that are getting into college to into college or university. So the third tip I can give you guys 
is um is better hmm? is better that you have a good grip on how you're going to like tackle your financial life in school because ha university is the time where you spend 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 lecturers be like buy this buy that and you also need it not as if if you don't buy it you need it so you obviously need to buy it and then you have to pay for this pay for that and you're feeding your living expenses ah you have to have a good grip like you'll be like you have to be able to like plan what it is or how like it how you know you're going to manage your okay first of all you won't really know how you manage your your like how you plan your budget and finances and everything before you get into the school until you see the situation like the situation of things and how like maybe just use one week out of the out of your first day you know that one week that the first week of your school so just use that day and just that week and just try to figure out how the spending is like like how much you know just to know because is is the worst kind of thing to be broke in university and it's also the worst kind of things to like always be disturbing your parents you know i need this that i need that mommy i need this you know every time you're calling them calling them even you i don't even think your conscience will be clear sometimes but then i feel like it's better that you be able to like start learning how to manage your money now before you know anything like they can i don't know if everybody has different like schedule um, allowances different amounts but then the same tips the, the tip is still the same you have to be able to know how to manage the money you get and how to spend it wise because college is the time where you be like you spend a lot like there are so many things you can spend on like and then especially like when you are free you're like on your own ah i can do i can buy this i can buy that although it's not everything you can buy but then you still have that feeling of freedom of dependence so people tend to like try to use that and use that as an avenue to spend and at the end of the month if before the end of the month they are broke and you keep hearing uh, there was this slang that they used to say what's this slang they used to say oh what oh oh what mad or what oh something like i don't know brokenness so it's it's it's, it's terrible so everybody we have to learn how to manage our money better so that we can have a wonderful college experience that's what i'm saying you know? whatever tips that you know that you can find helpful helpful in this video i suggest you write them down try to practice them and before you get to school and then leave a comment down below which one works or which one you liked best so i will know because me i feel like these are i'm just kind of giving you the things i'm like things i wish i did because the first one i did it um i didn't do the financial situation kind and i didn't do the research about the school so i didn't do that but i feel like that would have made my experience better and that would have like helped me like avoid the mistakes i made because now i'm regretting it and you do not want to have any regrets in your life because ah uh, when you do it is it, it's, it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking guys you end up doing my nails forgive the nails it's looking like it's looking like trouble trouble well that's because i was rushing so the sun go down if you want to know what i'm talking about go straight to my other video and to explain what i was doing now my first tip on how to survive college or university is make friends because making friends will help your life <laughs> it will help your life because first of all you need directions okay um research aside you're coming to the school you've done your clearance you've done everything you know you still need friends because you need friends that, both like from the 
from an upper from the upper class and those are your mates because people from the upper class will help you because they are, they were there before you so they'll be able to know like how to advise you what to do and what not to do then friends your age it just helps you because because obviously you can't do it on your own god is with you yes but you also have to pick the way like like how i put it i don't know how to explain that it's understandable right now okay so you need to have friends because if you have friends they can help you because there's not how you can survive on your own especially in a department because okay what if there's an assignment and you are not around you obviously have a friend that need to tell you not someone that you'd be like oh she my department you know just have friends having friends is at it, 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 it it's like important it's like very 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 important you have to have friends it makes your life so much easier because there are some times that you need to like okay no yeah in fact they'll help you help you in so many things you know you guys can study together do assignments together teach each other help each other go far you need it you need that ah, that's all i can say you need you need friends you need friends i don't think anyone can survive alone especially in college you can't survive on your own and i know it's going not going to be so easy to make friends with new people for introverts like me but i feel like i tried my best because when i got in i i made like two friends in my department and they helped me a lot and especially since i didn't do research in the school so i didn't even know where i was going to i was just going in like i was just going in blind so i i i had those friends and they helped me and then when i got into my hostel i grew more friends i had my roommates i had a friend i had friends but not like too much to say that okay i let my social life take over my this i i obviously didn't i did not i had a moderate amount of no i had a number of friends not too much I had, no, I had friends. No, I had friends, and I know deep down I could not do it without them because surviving through it, ah, it would be first of all it would drain you. It is so drain you that it's so drain you that you will never be able to like not cry. It's so drain you. So you need someone that you know your comrade. You know she she's in there with you. She's with you on this. You're not the only one suffering this. And then also they help you in studying. The person, your friend might know math more than you and she'll teach you. Your friend might know biology or you might know physics more than her. you teach. Like it's, it's so ex essential to have friends. Okay. Is that you should always never lose sight of God. Um, if you're a religious person like me, if you're a just person and you believe in God it's I feel like having something to hold on to like the promise that God is always going to be with you because it's not easy it's not everybody that enters university and comes out like you need grace so I feel like you need if you need God in your life you is to make sure you also have Fill up your social duty criteria. Like it's not only book that you will be reading. Although that's what our parents would be like. That's what they sent us to do. But the truth is, deep down, they know that if it's only book, you will not survive in this world. Because when you come out, you need relationship. You need to be able to make social interactions with people. You are going to work with people, so you need you need a social life, but not. In such a way that is detrimental to your studies yeah and then one other thing that I also want to add is that don't be like your don't prioritize okay God is always first put, put God first but then when it's like you are not even putting any efforts in your studies but then you're putting all your attention all your studies in uh, all your efforts and every all your time in religious activities it's not going to like help you i don't it's not going to help you it is it's, it's going to be a miracle because if you don't read you cannot pass that's 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 it you cannot just enter example with the blank head and be like 
but I can't I can't say anything for certain. But I sh I believe that you have to help those who help themselves. You help yourself by reading and also have trying to have a balance in your life. It's not easy. Uh -huh. I can tell you that people are saying ah have a balance in your life. If you even look at themselves, they are not balanced most times. There's always one that is higher, one that is lacking. So it just takes the grace of God to help you and you be able to plan yourself, plan your time, schedule your time, have like a planner, like be a planner, become a planner, plan your day because there are days that your lectures might be shifted, you'll be like I want to read in the library, use this time to do something else because it's obviously not going to be only your, like it's not it's obviously not going to be your studies that you focus on all throughout your life. Like five or is it six tips on how to survive through old age um yeah and if you guys need more tips uh, these are the tips that i feel like they would have helped me that will help you i believe i strongly believe that they will help you if you implement them in your own life before you, when you get into college or uni i feel like they will help you achieve and be the best and fullest version of yourself and to be able to help you experience the full package experience of university because there are people that go there and when they come out they regret some things and mistakes will be made quite all right i'm not saying you can you are never going to be with mistakes you have mistakes but then the fact that you already have like these tips you have like guidance on what to do is fundamental to helping you succeed in college and in uni so that's just it so thank you and i'll see you in my next video